This tutorial is going to show you how to set up your email with Rage Web Hosting in Apple's email client called Mail. First, I will show you how to set up the email address if you have not used that exact same email address in Mail before, and then I will show you how to modify the settings if that email address is already listed in Mail. This tutorial assumes you have already set up your email address in cPanel as per the instructions in another video tutorial. So to get started, launch the Mail application. Keep in mind that your Mail might look slightly different depending on which version you are using. The principles will be the same no matter which version you are using. If you already have your email address set up in Mail, then you will need to skip ahead in this tutorial and get to the part where I show you how to modify your current settings to work with Rage Web Hosting. If this is your first time launching Mail, then the Add Account Wizard should appear right away. If you have used Mail before, that wizard won't show up right away. So to get the wizard to appear, click on Mail in the menu bar at the top of your screen and select Preferences. Click on the Accounts tab and then click on the plus button to launch the wizard. The first thing you'll need to do is type in your name, the email address, and your password. The email address and password are going to be the ones you just set up in your Rage web hosting account when you set up your email address in cPanel. When you are done, click on the Continue button. Mail will now search for the servers for your email address, so it may take a few minutes. On the next step, from the drop-down menu, select IMAP or POP. I won't go into detail on what the difference between these two options are, so if you are not sure which to choose, just select IMAP as that is the more modern type. For this example, I will be using IMAP. You can give your account a description. I usually like to type in my email address. For incoming mail server, type in mail.yourdomain.com. So for example, since my domain is ragesw.net, I will type in mail.ragesw.net. For the username, type in your email address again, along with its password. Don't forget to include the at yourdomain.com part of your email address. Then click the continue button. Just a quick note, you might receive several verify certificate pop-up boxes that look like this throughout the process. You can just click the connect button to continue. It is completely safe to click on the connect button, so there is nothing to worry about. On the next step, put in another description. This can be whatever you want, but I will put my email address in it again. For the outgoing mail server, you can once again type in mail.yourdomain.com. So since my domain is ragesw.net, I will type in mail.ragesw.net. Make sure the use only this server option is checked. Then, if it isn't already, check the use authentication option, and once again, type in your email address and password. Don't forget to include the at yourdomain.com part of your email address. When you are done, click the continue button. This connection might also take several minutes to complete. If you receive a window that says that mail cannot send your password securely to the server, just click the continue button. On the next step, click the create button. If your mail preferences window is not open to the accounts tab, do that now. Click on the drop-down menu next to Outgoing Mail Server and select Edit SMTP Server List. Then click on the Advanced tab. Make sure that Use Custom Port is selected and that 26 is the port being used. Password should be the authentication option and your email address and password should already be keyed in. Then click the OK button. You should now be able to send and receive emails. It is a good idea to send a test email to another email address and reply back to it to make sure you can receive as well. Be patient, as sometimes it can take several minutes, up to a few hours, for the emails to be sent and received. Now, if you already have your email address set up in mail, all you need to do is modify some of the settings. To do so, click on Mail in the menu bar and select Preferences. Make sure the Accounts tab is selected 
and highlight the account you want to modify. Now you can change your incoming mail server to mail.yourdomain.com if it does not already have that in the incoming mail server field. If your password is different from what it was before, key in your new password. Then click on the drop down menu and select Edit SMTP Server. Click on the Advanced tab and select Use Custom Port and type in 26. Make sure Use Secure Sockets layer is unchecked. Then select Password from the drop down menu and type in your email in the Username field and your password. Then click OK. Your outgoing mail server should look similar to mine, except RageSW.net will be replaced with your domain, and my email address should be replaced with your email address. Your email address is now set up in mail. One last thing that I want to mention, and this applies both to users who set up a new account and users who just modified an account. On the Accounts tab in the Preferences window, with your account selected, I want you to click on the Advanced tab. If you see a check mark next to Use SSL, please remove it. You won't need to do anything else, just make sure there is no check next to Use SSL.